what's up guys, Tom here, welcome back to the cube. So, in this episode of the cube, what I'm planning to do is to show you guys stuff that we did in the live stream, the 12 hour live stream, and also I'm going to go make plans for future things, including the potion shop. So, you guys should totally watch the rest of this video and not be clicking off right now, because that's not, that's not cool, that's not cool. <laughs> Anyways, anyway guys, so without further ado, here's this episode of the cube. Okay guys, so to begin this cube episode, I got a couple of things to show you guys. The first of the things is something that we did during the 12 hour live stream. Yeah, it was a long, long, long live stream that we did. We raised $2,300 ish so Devin can go to PAX. It was it was a good old success and it was fantastic. Thank you for everyone who donated. If I, you know, I thanked you a bunch of times in the stream, but anyway, I, it was super fun. But anyway, towards the end of the live stream, we built this old thing because uh, you guys don't hear it because I have hostile mob sounds turned off. Thank goodness for that. But we built a gigantic ghast above the mob museum because if I were to go ahead and turn on, let's just say hostile mob sounds because I turned them off all the way. If I were to go over here and Mr. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gast over here, I forgot your actual name. He makes a lot of noise, and uh, I think someone's gonna try to sue Grazer for noise pollution at spawn. But point is, this guy uh, he does a lot of noise pollution, so we decided to prank the whole entire spawn by my FPS is super low right now. Oh my goodness! Um, we decided to prank the entire spawnacopia with a gigantic ghast, and then Grazer went ahead, or sorry, Straub went ahead and he tweeted at <laughs> Grazer in the middle of the night, pretty much, saying, oh my goodness, the, the ghast got out, and then he posted another picture of, like, a, it looked like a ghast explosion, and then he was in mid-damage, and then Grazer got on TeamSpeak and then yelled at him for letting the ghast out, and then after that, he yelled at him for pranking him and making him wake up in the middle of the night in order to uh, check something that wasn't completely, wasn't, was completely fake, which was hilarious, and hopefully Straub uploads that, uh, that video, but... Anyway, it was hilarious. Uh, also, what the heck is... What? Did I just... I think I might have... There we go, got it. Anyway, so another thing that I'd like to show you is something that we did towards the beginning of the stream, and I don't like it at all during the stream. And by the way, I got these so cool shears to put Efficiency 5 and Silk Touch 1 on them, and uh, they they mine wool extremely, extremely fast. Now, I'm going to head on over here, and I started working on the Build-A-Sword workshop, and as you can see, it's over there, and it's kind of just like coming right out of the mountain, and everyone told me that it looked terrible, including Parker Games, Dole Juice, and a bunch of other people who told me it just, you know, this thing doesn't look good. And to, to be honest, I don't think it looks good either. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to start tearing this down, and uh, we're going to build it somewhere else, and I know exactly where I'm going to build it. I'm going to tear down um, what do you call it? I'm gonna tear down H, uh, not H, um, John's redstone build shop, because he hasn't been on the cube in a long time, I think he's busy with Mindplex doing all that sort of build type thing, and so we're gonna rebuild it over there, and I actually have a new way to d design this thing, because right now it's being made with, like, dark gray wool, and it doesn't look too good, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to save up a lot of diamond blocks, and I'm gonna make it with diamond blocks, and make the pixel art look a lot better than it does right now, so that's gonna look good, but, um, it's going to take me a long time to build, and also instead of having one sword, I'm going to have two swords crossing together, and then there's going to be like this little stone, this little entryway. It's going to be a cross of swords, and then in the cross of swords, so like there's going to be a little triangle where you guys go in, and where they can go in, and they could build, purchase stuff to put on their weapons. And I think that'll look a lot better than this currently one sword thing, and I don't, you know, there's not enough room for people to get their stuff done. I think it's going to look a lot better, and also I need to enchant a lot more books than currently are enchanted, so I'm going to have to spend a lot of time doing that as well. So there's a lot, lot of stuff on my to-do list right now that I want to do. And uh, also, something that I wanted to do, uh, I'll t uh, tell you guys while, while, <laughs> uh, well, what I wanted to do is, so I had a plan, and I wanted to buy Grazer's Potion Shop from him, because I know the Potion Shop makes a lot of money, and I wanted to make a lot of money too. And you know, the casino has been kind of, you know, down in its, its you know, his its sales. I, I talked to, uh, I think it was, uh, I forgot which, I talked to one of the cats in the cat cafe about it. I told that cat all about my struggles and how, you know, I wasn't able to sustain myself with just the casino. And, you know, the puzzle shop doesn't sell much either. But uh, I have a couple of plans. And so for the casino, I'm going to leave the casino there. The casino is great. For the puzzle shop, I think I'm gonna going to I'm gonna expand it to have it sell some like I'm gonna have it sell grass, and I'm gonna go and spend years and years and years in attempts to find a mushroom biome. I know there's a mushroom biome out there somewhere on the cube, and I think if I find one, I can sell mycelium at the shop, and people will buy tons of it because mycelium is technically speaking the rarest thing on the cube right now because absolutely zero people on the cube have mycelium because no one has found the mushroom biome yet. So if I could get a monopoly on the mycelium. That'd be awesome. But, uh, you know, there's no rules against monopolies in, in, on the cube, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about me in my conniving ways trying to con some money out of the people on the cube. Don't worry about that. But anyway, uh, I guess that's... Yep, oops, got that all. 
right here. But anyway, so I wanted to buy Grazer's Potion Shop because it makes lots of money, and I figured that if I, I have a couple of design changes that I'd like to make with this potion shop, I'll head on over here to show you the potion shop right now in order to show you what I want to change with the potion shop. Yes, change. Oh my goodness, I'm like Obama saying like, change, and then we, uh, this is the big old thing that was on his campaign slogan. You guys remember. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Uh, but coming on right here, this man so, likes so much at spawn. Like, oh my gosh, FPS is really, really, really low. And also, who put... The, I need to put some stuff in the trash can. Anyway, so coming on over here, this is Devin's Mines. Not done yet, but whatever. Okay, coming on over here. So in the potion shop, you know, you, they have the regular style. And what Grazer does is he has all of the, you know, all the gro redstone and all that gross stuff in these chests. And he basically makes it so you have to put your own brewing into your own brewing stands and do everything by yourself. And then you can go down here and buy pre-made potions down here as well. And uh, the pre-made potions are two gold ingots. Like, it's, and those aren't even, like, they're not even, like, the highest level of potions that you can make. So first off, one of the few things that I would do for this place is I'd give it a little bit of a remodel. I'd make, instead of having all these chests and having the downstairs thing, I want to make it have this one room, right? And you'll come in, and there'll be a section of, uh, it'll probably be cut off uh, anywhere from right here. It depends on how much uh, space the redstone takes, because it takes a lot of redstone for this. But basically, my plan is to build this redstone contraption, right? And what I want to do is I want to have a set of levers. There's going to be an on-off switch, and to the right of that is going to be a spot of, like, there's a hopper that goes down. I'm trying to figure out uh, how to visualize it properly. Oh, yeah, no, sorry. There's an on-off switch. There's a spot where you collect potions. And then there's also going to be a spot, uh, a long line of levers, and then above the levers is each ingredient. And which, what you do is you go in, and first off, you make sure the off switch is, you know, it's off, so it's not making potions. And then you flick whatever levers for the ingredients you want. So if I want to make, you know, inv an invisibility potion, I'd take a nether wart, and I'd flick the, the lever on the nether wart. And then after that, I'd flick the lever on the... Let's see here. We, we'd, I'd flick the lever on the golden carrot, because that'll make a night vision potion. And then after that, I'd flick the lever on the fermented spider eye. And let's say I want to make it last really long. So then I'd also flick the lever on the redstone. And then uh, if it was a potion that, you know, had a, a times two, like where you can make it more strong, like let's say strength, I have a redstone one that I would click. And point is, as soon as I have all the thing, all the ingredients and just flick, 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 flick all the switches that I want, then I hit the on switch. And what it'll do is as long as there's ingredients in each one of the slots, then it will indefinitely make those potions until you hit the off switch. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make potions very easy and very lazy you know, super easy, lazy typeness that you can do for any single person who wants to come in here and buy potions. I think I've, I've been wanting to do that and just make it free and, you know, like a location that you put on it. But I figured if I want, if I want, sorry, <laughs> I just pick up and kind of burped at the same time there. Uh, if I wanted to make it so everyone could do it, might as well pay Grazer to overtake his potion shop and like have the whole thing sorted. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is Grazer told me is like, if you wanna buy this potion shop, it's gonna cost you a lot of money because it makes me a lot of money. And I told him, okay, that's good. And he also says, I wanna see this new type of fang new fangled contraption that you wanna do to make it, you know, work properly and stuff. You know, like what you wanna do, change to the potion shop in order to make it better than it was before. And I was like, okay, Grazer, I could do that too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build this contraption using all types of redstone and pistons and all this sort of stuff. I'm going to build it in one spot. I'm going to build it next to my house so I have one there. And then I'm going to have Grazer come in a different episode because it's like midnight right now and he's he's uh, he's, he's it's too late for him to talk. You know, uh, it's late. He'll, be, he'll wake up the neighbors. And I'll show I'll have Grazer check it out and see if he like thinks you know it'd be a good adjustment to this potion shop. And then we'll negotiate prices of how much the shop will cost to own later on. Now I'm thinking that it's going to cost me anywhere from 60 to 100 gold blocks. So that's going to be a big, big, big price for me to pay for this whole entire thing. But I think it'll be worth it because I'd make all the money back and then it would make the cube a much better place and an easier place to be. So I'm going to go, do, go ahead and do right now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at this and I'm going to take a screenshot for possibly the thumbnail. You know, who knows? I might change it depending on uh, how this picture looks, but we're gonna go right here and look at that, and we're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna press F2. There you go, that might have been, that might be the thumbnail, might not be the thumbnail, who knows? It might be something else. All right, so my plan is now, I'm gonna take all this wool, put, bring, bring it back to my house, and I'm going to use redstone and all that sort of stuff, and I'm gonna build the model 
that I'm going to show Grazer in another episode, and I'm gonna show you guys how it works, and I'm gonna make it all work fantastic. I'm gonna show you guys that, and we're gonna have the automatic potion brewer, as I'm calling it, and we're gonna put that at my house, and it's gonna be awesome. So we'll see you guys when that's finished. All right, guys, change of plans. So after much deliberation and hard work and trying to make the entire thing, uh, some bad stuff happened. So I'm going to explain to you the nature of the situation as I'm going to go ahead and take these sponges right here. And I'm going to take some dirt that I'm going to mine. And I'm going to clear up the area of mouse, massive amounts of water lakes that I have near my house. Like that, 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 and that over there. So what ended up happening was it was, it was probably about 1 a.m. when I first started building the contraption known as the potion maker brewer thingy and uh, I, I watched a video by Tango Tech and I was watching it and it gave the tutorial in detail by detail perfectly and then when I finished the design I realized that the, he had made his design uh, for the you know the potion brewer thingy before the uh, invention of the water brewing potion in whatever update of Minecraft that that happened in. So thinking of being the smart person that I was, I was just going to add an extra row of all the redstone cons contraption type stuff and add it and make it work perfectly fine. But no, it didn't work. And for some reason, when I went ahead and did that, a whole bunch of weird, weird stuff ended up happening. And by that I mean when I went and did it, like the redstone broke not only on the final row that it was uh, inserted there, but also on everything else that was possibly there. Like, it, what ended up happening is one row wasn't working and I wasn't able to add uh, red, uh, sorry, um, gunpowder to the mix, and then uh, when I would try to fix that, I ended up breaking something else, and then I, when I ended up doing that, I broke something else, and then I broke every single thing. So I decided, well, by the time uh, I, I kind of gave up, it was about 3 a.m. in the morning, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna set an alarm for 8.30 in the morning, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, be good with that. The problem was, is right before I went to bed, I decided to update my uh, Galaxy S5 to the newest version of J uh, Android, which means, for some reason, it disabled my clock, and I ended up waking up at, right now, which is 10.55, and I woke up maybe five minutes ago. Actually, no, I didn't wake up five minutes ago, I woke up 15 minutes ago, and what ended up happening 15 minutes ago was I basically woke up, and when I tried to turn on my computer because I realized how late it was that I woke up, none of my keyboard or mouse was working. So I ended up restarting my computer at least six or seven times until it finally worked, and then I went ahead and hopped on now, and then I'm recording this video, and basically, I was completely unable to make that thing, and what I'm going to do instead is, since I have to live stream in less than an hour, which is why I'm stressing so much about getting this video done, uh, well, actually, a little over an hour, an hour and four minutes. But anyway, since I'm live streaming in an hour and four minutes, I'm going to go ahead and rebuild the design on the live stream for all of you to watch. Now, since you're watching this probably at, at a minimum of 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on um, July 20th, that means that the live stream has probably already passed, unless for some reason it has uh, it has been three hours and for some reason my live stream is not over. So if you want to check that out, obviously it's twitch.tv slash that one tomahawk. I plan to stream every single day at approximately uh, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, which is noon Pacific Standard Time, so do go ahead and go on, go on Google and do your little conversion rates and all that sort of stuff. So instead, for the rest of this video, I'm going to be going ahead and cleaning up the entire look of my my house and area around it by going ahead and terraforming. And while I'm going to do this terraforming, I'm going to tell you guys how I thought of the new movie which was the purge now if you follow me on twitter you obviously know that i watched the first purge and i thought it was absolutely awful and that was because it was absolutely awful i think it got like a 15 percent from critics or something ridiculous like that so i went ahead and watched the new purge because i figured eh, if a first movie sucks so bad that like that much i might as well watch the second one because of absolutely no reason well i went ahead and did and guess what happened uh, it wasn't as bad to, to be surprising like the entire I'll tell you this I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil I, I'm gonna spoil the first one a little bit the entire premise of the first one is the little boy pretty much ruins absolutely every little bit of the movie because he's the one who starts who causes the problems in the first place and really the whole thing could be you could think of many reasons why the, how the whole entire plot can be avoided well the th in the second movie you could kind of do the same thing a little bit it's not as much and it's not focused in one little area and there's not some little kid who ruins the entire movie by being really annoying and stupid and and uh, also in this movie, uh, it was really funny because uh, there's this, uh, I don't, I, like, I'm, all I'm going to say this is I don't like love stories, and they kind of, uh, they, 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 I guess the directors of the movie kind of agreed with me, and they ruined the love story, which is hilarious, uh, and you'll know what I mean if you watch actually watch the movie, so, anyway, so that's that, and then also the entire movie, um, it was kind of based outside, and, like, the first movie was based off of the rich people in The Purge, and this one is based off of the poor people in The Purge, and it kind of shows how, uh, th because this one, the first one is supposed to be 
be a social commentary about, you know, how, it, like, the purge is supposed to be this thing that ruins the poor because it's the, it, it's the richest excuse to get rid of the poor to increase, and that's how they decrease, you know, the unemployment rate and the, uh, you know, to keep the population down and blah, 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 blah. And they didn't focus that much on that, like, plot line and how that's kind of, like, wrong. And they didn't focus on that in the first movie. On this one, they focused on it a ton, and it makes it so much better than the first one. And I'm so happy that that was fixed because, oh my gosh, that first movie was a pile of poop. And, yeah, that's that's pretty much my explanation on the whole thing. Um, do I recommend you go see that movie? Yes, I do recommend you go see that movie. Uh, and... Uh, and if you, if for some reason I'm still streaming and, uh, I'm still trying to figure out how, I'm going to put it right there, by the way, if I still am trying to figure out a way to figure out how to, um, make that potion brewer thing and you know exactly how to make it with every single potion, you should go ahead and help me out and go watch the stream. Uh, and then if it's already over, then, uh, th thanks for, thanks for, uh, clicking, uh, clicking on over there and checking to see if I was streaming instead of just, uh, clicking off the video when it's over. So thank you so much. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and continue finishing on this. And uh, honestly, I just woke up and I'm really tired. And I was probably talking very, very, very fast when I was doing that little recording thing. But I don't care. Because I do that what? <laughs> okay. I think I got all the water. Actually, did I? Hmm. I wonder if I did. Huh. But yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and explain it again uh, in a little bit more detail as to what was broken. So I had all, like, just uh, let's pretend that... Uh, this dirt that I'm placing right here is all the all the spots with the, the with the different ingredients, right? So initially there was 12 because the design only put for 12, and uh, there's actually 13 because it didn't include for pufferfish. So when I wanted to put the 13, I just plunked that one down there, and then for some reason this one wasn't working, and then when I tried to fix one, this one wasn't working, and then when I tried that fix, fixing this one, the indicator light that showed if you had a, enough of the ingredients on each one of them wasn't working either. And the cool thing about this design is if it doesn't work, it won't try to make potions, so it wasn't making potions, so it was aggravating me even more, even more than it should have. But, um, anyway, yeah, that's, that's my explanation as to why I didn't actually make the potion brewing thing and why I need to get ready for a live stream and render this video and upload this video in less than 59 minutes. So wish me luck. And yeah. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this episode of The Cube. I apologize for it not being probably longer than 20 minutes. My excuse for that is because my alarm didn't want to work and I didn't, uh, you know, I wasn't able to go ahead and finish that potion brewing thing. But don't worry, we're going to build it on the stream, so by the time we come back into the next video, it should probably already be done. So that's good news for all of us. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of The Cube, and I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace. <laughs>